Kenny might die this episode, we'll see. The bar. Oh great. Shit. Just guarding the place like you said. Uh, sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Get one to keep and kill the rest. Not to which one to keep. Not to kill. And let me on the train. That is oh, sick. Know, this is my focus. Home. Where's Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. See where he is now. What's he doing out there? I don't know. I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act what I say. See what he's doing now. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't grab the gun in time. Whoops. That scared me. Yeah, let's do that again. Oh great. That scared me. My reflexes need to be better in this game. That's right. See how you like it. Doesn't feel that great when you're in the other end of it, does it? Ugh. No! Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me! Oh my god. It's gosh. how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it! You're already tainted. Do it yeah. then. I know you can. I've seen you do it. Just like you killed that woman in the camp! I'm not gonna do it, because... Yeah. He's... Yeah, I, I can't kill him. Even though... Uh, do I want to kill him or not? I mean... There's a difference between... Oh, gosh. He is just... He's as messed up as the as the woman, and I really should kill him, but I I just can't. Not no, I can't. As messed up as he is, I think I think what's going through Lee's mind is he's already he already feels bad for killing that woman, especially since she was trying to warn us about the dairy. He already feels bad about it, so he's not going to go and kill someone else. He's already killed enough people already so if he doesn't have to if he doesn't have to kill Danny to escape this blasted farm then he's not gonna do it but I think with the situation with the crazy woman he kind of had to kill her to get out of that situation so that's that's what's the big difference between then and now this is not how the world works now you won't make me kill you Good. Clementine re recognized that I spared his life. Good. Go. I'll cover you. Thank Just you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. Kitty! Oh 
Where are you, Kenny? So I'm thinking they... Back when they turned the generator on, it was turned on because... Oh! <gasps> hey! It's Doug! Oh, Doug, my hero! Doug, this is why I have a bromance with you. What I was saying is, I think... You remember when the fence, like, mysteriously turned on last time while Mark and Lee were out? I think they did that on purpose because they figured if they could kill us right then and there, then they could eat us for dinner that night. So, yeah. Oh, yay, Doug. What the hell? Where's that coming from? It's Doug. Doug. Doug, buddy. Yes! Doug, I love you so much, man! Doug? Ah! Doug! Doug, what the hell was that? Morse code! You almost blinded me! Uh, sorry about that, but I did get your attention. It was smart that he'd use Morse code. Or, unfortunately, I don't know where Morse code is. screams from the barn! What's going on? As in, I don't know how to read Morse code. We need your help! Oh god, what happened? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us! Jesus, that's sick! They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. Alright, we're coming in to help. Okay, now, great. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Just be Come careful. On, this way. Oh, I'm so Wait, glad Doug sure? is here. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Stop, you're hilarious! Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy I saved Doug. I really am. I I like his character so much. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Settle down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Oh yeah, you do. Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? That is me. Nice. Come here. Let me go. Oh my god. Please get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Go, Brenda! Oh gosh, we don't have a choice. I don't think there's anything else I can do but open the door. And she might kill Katja. Oh, I like Katja too. I like the mom. Please! Please don't you take another step! Brenda! Come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! Well, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna get the mom killed, aren't I? Stop right there, I mean it! Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. Be reasonable, woman. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Oh my gosh, look, it's Mark. Look, Mark just turned. Mark died and turned into a zombie. Oh, poor Mark. I really liked him. I'm really upset that he died. We didn't hardly get to know him that much. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! What happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just dog! Yeah, if we can lead her up towards Mark, I think that's what we're trying to do. Get her up to Mark. Oh, Mark, you can't save us after all, buddy. Do you want to eat me? Don't you? This this dairy was your pride. Look what you've done to it. Stop! I mean it. Here we go. One more step should do it. Ah! Got him. This is Doug. Where's Teddy? I said, don't move, asshole. Don't you. 
Oh no. Let it go, God damn it. Oh. oh my gosh. That ain't gonna oh, happen. Great. Andy, don't shut up! Oh, Kenny! Kenny! No! Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? What? Look at what you've done! What I've done? You brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this! All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Right. And me. Oh, Doug, thank you. Doug, I totally want to have your babies right now. Right now, Doug. Next time we have a chance. You are awesome, Doug. I'm so glad I saved you. All those people that said Doug was useless? No way. I love Doug. He is awesome. Oh, great. Duh. What? What? I'm trying to click. Come on, Lee. Q, 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 Q. Oh, gosh. Q, come on. Q. Q! Uh, uh, Lily? Uh, Lily! Please? Ah! Thank you, my dear. Oh, gosh. I was trying to push the Q button. Great. Ah. Uh. There goes Andy. And now they're gonna turn into zombies too. Better shoot them both in the head. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! Whatever, man. It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Danny Mama get out here! You you all fuck! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? You were gonna eat us, dude. What the heck? You were gonna eat us. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. Get back here and finish this, Lee. Eat me. Yeah, I said it. Eat me. I'm walking away. Yeah, I'm walking away. You Get stay back here and fight me like a man. You Lee. stay here with your guilt. You stay here. Lee! Yeah, they are. Let's go. I'm not gonna have that blood in my hands. I have enough blood in my hands today. Oh, there's the mom. I feel bad for their family, though. I mean, they're messed up, but I kind of feel bad about the whole situation. You fight like a dairy farmer? Great. Doug, you are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're gonna snuggle tonight, Doug. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're gonna cuddle. Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Aww. We are. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. And Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. Oh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? 
Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. Hmm. Nice. A camera. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. A save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out. See if I can get it working. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. Just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Hey, Kenny, so, uh, what do you There's want? There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them. By making sure Larry didn't kill us. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Nice. At the end of episode one, we were great with Kenny. Now we're complete opposite with Kenny, which is kind of interesting. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, Walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Uh, it's probably a walker. Come on, Lee. Um, Doug is pretty awesome. He's he's loyal and reliable. And, uh, yeah. He's definitely... We're totally having a bromance of Lee and Doug. But anyway, as I was saying... Oh, yeah, that's right. Scary stuff is happening. We're sneaking into this car and probably going to get attacked. I'm just saying. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. Yeah, but why did they just leave it, is the question. Something... This food changed. could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> what? <sighs> I'm not gonna let Kenny starve. Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Great. Well, Do we... What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? I mean, it looked abandoned. Nobody's here. It's, this isn't a camp. This isn't a camp. Um, nobody's here. And, you know, I, I don't feel like we should just pass this up. I, I feel like um, if the people come back and realize, hey, why did you steal our food? I mean... We will say sorry. We thought that it was. We thought that it was abandoned. Like, like I, I don't know. I feel like we have to. We should take this. I mean, I understand that um, this could be someone else's and and all that good stuff. But I, I, my my gut right now is saying is that we should take it because we haven't. We're starving. I mean, whoever whoever had this food should understand and. 
if, if it was up to me, we would make it up to them. If, if, if a, a bunch of people came back and found out that we ate their food and we were still there, we would find a way to make up for it and maybe pay them, find some way to pay them for the food that we ate. So. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. I'm not always going to tell Clementine. I mean, I agree with Clementine, and I'm, I'm sorry that that um, I had to tell her that we were going to do that. But you know what? I've also agreed with Clementine, too. I've also taken the idealistic route before. So every now and then, you know, Lee's gonna gonna assume that this was abandoned. Can we open this? It's locked. Well, no shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Alright, we're taking the keys. Supplies, supplies, food. First things first is food. More food in here. And supplies. Wait. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. Is that it? Oh, and more food. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. Hoodie. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Yeah, just hold on to it for, keep, for safekeeping. What I'm thinking is, if this food wasn't abandoned, then why were the keys left in the car? I would think if whoever, I would think whoever owns this food, would have taken the keys with them, and locked the front, locked the doors of all, like all the doors of the car. That's what I'm thinking. You know, they, they, they I, I think I would have had a hard time breaking open to this car if it was tightly locked shut. Um, but the fact that the door was wide open and the keys were still in the ignition. That makes me feel better about taking the food. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Clementine just said at me. I'm sorry, Clem. Here, Clem. Want some uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Oh, great. Achievement unlocked. It's not stealing if you need it. Well... <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. She was spying on us this whole time. Was she the one who led those people to us, towards us? Was she the one who led... Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots! They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking raping one! Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Wow. Can you help me find it? Sure. That's what I when said. Did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If Y'all thinking it, you're I'll safe? You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Uh-oh. Looks like they're not getting food from them anymore. Great. Oh, next time on The Walking Dead. This place is done. It's time to move on. 
Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. That's not fair, Kenny. I have is listened. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much face is on it. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh my gosh. Oh wow, episode 3, The Long Road Ahead. Uh, let's look at our stats, everybody. Chop David's leg off. You and 84% of the players chopped his leg off. Wow. All right. Um, interrogation. Shot you, Jolene. You and 12% of the players had Lee shoot her. Wait. Had Lee shoot her. Oh, I did. Yeah, I did have Lee shoot her. Interesting. Only 12%. Um, pragmatism. Helped kill Larry. You and 68% of the percent of the players didn't help kill Larry. Wait, I did help. Oh, oh, helped kill Larry. Yeah, I didn't help kill Larry. Okay. Revenge. Killed both of the St. John brothers. You and 82% of the players didn't kill both brothers. Okay. And then stole food from the car. You and 55% of the players stole the food. Got it, got it, got it. Cool. The big thing that I'm a little annoyed at is I'm annoyed at Kenny because, look, I don't, just because I'm on your side doesn't mean I agree with everything that you do. You know, every once in a while, I'm going to agree, I'm going to disagree with you on, on some things. That doesn't mean that I don't have your back, bro. Like that, like that's, that's the big thing is like all of a sudden, just because, because I agreed with him almost in everything in episode one and in episode two I disagreed with him on a few things and automatically I'm a bad guy because I happen to you know have an opinion um when most of the time I do agree with Kenny most of the time I do so I kind of am a little annoyed that he's being the way he is right now when I, I'd like to say 80% of the time I I pretty much go with what he says. And it's amazing that with Lily, like, I think Lily was didn't like me at all by the end of the first episode, and now she really likes me again, even though I only agreed with her probably 20% of the time. But that 20% was enough for her to be like, yeah, I like you now, Lee. You're awesome. So we'll see. I think, I think that's interesting, though, to see how my favoritism like like my approval rating if you will kind of fluctuates back and forth as the story progresses um so anyway yep ah so that was episode two folks start for help i enjoyed that thoroughly even though i kind of managed to figure out what was going on at that farm i still it was still creepy when i realized it was true and um, I enjoyed that episode a lot. That was so far this whole game is is crazy fun, and a lot of the choices that I'm I'm making it it really makes me wonder what would have happened if I chose the other made the other choices. So um, I'm eventually obviously going to replay this game again and to probably make Lee maybe a completely different have give Lee a completely different personality and have him take completely different choices and see you know see how that works for him versus the lead that I'm that I'm controlling right now um, but yeah I uh, I uh, hope that you guys are having a wonderful October if it's still October when you're watching this Halloween is just around the corner by the time I've started recording this um, the first episode of season three of The Walking Dead is um, is about to uh, come on on AMC. I believe it's like the second week of October, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so 
depending on when I end up um, putting this up, if you haven't checked out The Walking Dead and um, you you enjoy this game, I think this game actually is a sort of a decent representation of the show, but I definitely think the show is worth a watch if you like um, character-driven stories. There is a lot of gore, but as I said, the gore isn't the f main focus of the show. Um, I, I, I would recommend it. If you, even, and even if you are a huge like zombie fan, I would recommend you checking it out. But if you're not, um, at least watch the pilot, and if you're not... If you can stand the pilot, then you might actually enjoy the rest of the series. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love yourselves, and love each other.